Hello folks, Sula here speaking, and you're watching Let's Play Mega Man X Part 4. In the last video, we took on three of the Robot Masters, and now we're going to proceed to the last one, which is Sting Chameleon. I think that they have a nice intro set up. Oh, he does the tongue thing. Yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of his thing. One thing that you'll notice right away at the beginning of this level is that there's some water on the ground. Now that wouldn't seem out of place in the jungle necessarily, but this is another one of those levels that changes. So if you come here after beating, I think, Launch Octopus, you have the water on the ground. And that doesn't change too much in this level, but it does let you go get an, uh, an extra life tank that otherwise you wouldn't be able to reach. So yeah, killed the, killed the little uh, grasshopper robot there. Okay. The first hidden thing in this level is right up here at the top. You'll notice that if you jump uh, across that cliff there, you will face this robot guy here. And you have to beat this guy in order to get another capsule. Uh, so you'll see it's your reward for beating him, and that contains an armor upgrade. In order to kill this guy, you have to shoot him in the head. You'll notice that he has that claw that protects his body. So the proven way to beat this guy is to stay back and just shoot him in the head, but I like to dash in and uh, dash inside when he throws that claw. It's more risky, obviously, but you can get in a few extra hits, and frankly, this battle's really boring otherwise, so that's why I jump in there. You don't have any health bar here for the robot, but you'll notice after you do damage to him, he starts has a, starts to have that little smoke effect come off of him. Get in a few shots there. And he will actually start smoking more heavily when he gets close to uh, being destroyed, so now he's given off a good amount of smokes. So that's how we know that he's getting close to being killed. You can see he's really starting to give off lots of those little white puffs of smoke. Overall, this isn't a very interesting battle, I'd have to say. You just jump and shoot him in the head. To be perfectly honest, I think that you probably should have a little bit less life because it gets tedious. But there he goes, he blows up, and now we have a capsule. Woo! And yes, I was standing there so I'd ride it. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. So you'll take, uh, essentially what the armor does is, just as Dr. Light says, you'll take half damage. So this is a very useful item to get. And it makes playing through the levels in uh, the end, end game Fortress definitely a lot easier. Uh, I have played through the game, skipping the armor before. It's still, of course, readily doable. But uh, for this video, I'm just doing sort of a normal playthrough and showing you where everything is. You can break the blocks. Now here, you can see there's a little life tank over there. If the water, if you haven't beaten Launch Octopus's level, you, you, you know, you can't get there. I'm trying to dash and get back to the uh, platform that way, but instead I'll just dash off the edge without jumping. And uh, wasn't trying to do that, but as it turns out, yes, you can make it back just by dashing. You don't even have to jump if you time it correctly, so uh, no harm, no foul. Now, since I've beaten the robot uh, up top that gives you the armor upgrade, that means that there's no rocks falling from the ceiling. If you don't beat him, there's lots and lots of rocks that will be come crashing down. Uh, they're not too dangerous, but one other thing I'll mention is that if you have the helmet, the rocks that crash down will just bounce harmlessly off your head, but if you don't have the helmet, then they will in fact damage you. Now, you might not notice what I'm shooting at, but there's actually little woodpecker birds there, and right there, guy comes up out of the bushes, he's kind of partially camouflaged, and there's another one right there, did you see it? Well, it's dead now, and here's another one of those ball and chain guys, an extra life, yay, not that we've needed too many of those, since I've only died once so far. And here's another one of those big robots that you can jump in and ride around in. These things are fun to play around with, you know, not, not too seriously. And of course that means you fight other guys in the, in the big suits. I'm going to jump up and get this extra power here because I'm trying to fill up that sub tank that we got right at the end of the last video in Spark Mandrel stage. Yeah, these, uh, these suits can take a whole lot of punishment. They will blow up eventually if you take too much damage, but uh, this, you know, what not likely to have that happen. And there I jump out of it right uh, right before we hit that last grasshopper guy. So that stage was a little longer than some of the others, but still not too long. Only it took about four or so minutes to get here. And now we're up to Sting Chameleon. Like all of the other bosses I've done thus far, I'm going to take him on with the normal shot. And you'll see also, now that I've gotten all of the uh, life tanks, that now my life bar is the same height as that of the bosses. So finally, we're on even terms. And the fact that we're on even terms means that, you know, this guy doesn't stand much of a chance. The only way that the bosses really uh, have a good chance to beat me is when they have, you know, twice as much life or three times as much life. Uh, okay, so as far as Sting Chameleon, he will appear and disappear, and he will sh throw, uh, shoot little things out of his tail at you. He'll also attach himself to the ceiling. Uh, he'll stick his tongue out at you like he did right there. He'll also attach himself to the ceiling and 
uh, shake down spikes at you, like right here. Now spikes are going to rain down from the ceiling. Oh, I almost managed to dodge him. Uh, the weapon that you use against him is Boomer Kalanger's weapon, so that's why we're coming here last. It makes more sense logically, but I'm just refraining from that because I want to show that you can defeat all the bosses using the regular shot. At this point, I'm way ahead in the ball in the fight. It's obvious I'm not going to lose, so I'm going to start taking, playing sloppy, taking hits just to try and kill the boss more quickly because I want this fight to uh, be over sooner as it's already dragging out. It's already dragged out for about 90 seconds, and it, you know you can see it's just not that exciting. So I'm going to try to rush, and you know if I have to take some hits to hit this guy, well, you can see how far I'm ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Not that he's still hitting me all that much, but. Uh, you know, we'll play, we'll play a little bit more risky. I think each time the big pink shot hits him, it takes out two bars on his life. Not 100% sure about that, but roughly. So yeah, now he's got one hit point left, and oh, disappears one more time. So, but never mind, we'll get him up here. Boop, just one shot. And that's it for Stink Chameleon. So like all the other bosses, you can take them down with the regular shot. Not that hard to kill if you uh, sort of know their patterns, know how they're going to move. And with like that, we've got all uh, all eight bosses, we've got all eight life tanks, we've got all four sub tanks. So now I have uh, all the items and we can move on to uh, Sigma's Fortress. Well first though, I have to show the shot that you get, Chameleon Sting. You turn green as you'd expect and splits three ways. Yeah, not that useful of a weapon. But what we'll see is that uh, it does have a great secondary function when you charge it up. Finally, we've reached Sigma's Fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Thanks, Zero. What were you doing all this time while I was fighting these guys? Yeah, I could have used you against some of those other bosses. Alright, so now on to the Sigma stage. No Dr. Wily in this game. Sigma is the villain. Let's split up. I'll go in and first, and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. It's like, yeah, I'm sure about that. You'll keep the main defense force busy. I don't see you fighting any of these guys. Uh, once again, anytime you see these turtle guys, I like to use the flamethrower. I've showed that in some of the previous videos. Just a really useful weapon to have. And, oh, there's one more. I thought that that was the last one, but in fact, there's one more. And because I, uh, was incorrect, screwed up back there, that meant I was a little out of position. Okay. Here, there's another platforming section. You have to climb up these, uh, little flying thingies. And once again, as I showed in the Boomer Quanger stage, I found that the uh, best weapon to use here is the shield. Just You don't even have to worry about those little purple guys. You can just turn on the shield and anytime they come at you, uh, they'll just die as soon as they touch the shield and they'll never hurt you. So, you know, that makes it easy. If you aren't using the shield, this can actually be a very tricky section because those little uh, purple guys will try to knock you off. And if you fall in the pit, then you have to go back and do the whole thing from the beginning again. So, I've died there many times before, but on this attempt, not going to happen. And if you heard that little clicking sound, that was restoring uh, weapon energy to the armadillo shield that I just used. One of the great things about this game is that the power will just go automatically to whatever weapon needs it. In the NES Mega Mans, if you played them, you'd have to go into your inventory and change to that weapon and then give it power. Stay back X, I'll take him on. Whereas in this game, when you get weapons energy, it just uh, automatically goes to whatever needs it. So, a nice touch. Definitely an improvement over the uh, older games. Here we have a battle against that same guy that showed up at the end of the tutorial level, the introductory level at the beginning of the game, file. So uh, Zero shows up again, this guy shows up again. I don't know what they were both doing before. X, do what I tell you, or his history. Don't listen to him, X, go ahead and blast him. Dream on Zero, X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carry is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Yeah, so uh, once again, notice there's no life bar here. That means that this is another scripted battle, you can't win. Of course, I can dodge his attacks all day. Well, almost all day. But, uh... You know, in the end, I'm not going to be able to beat this guy because it's another story sequence. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I really don't like it when games do this. Um, you know, if I'm going to fight a battle, give me a chance to win it. But here, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to dash under his attacks. Woo! Woo! Can't hit me. But uh, sooner or later, he will just close the distance to me. And notice that there's no walls here to climb. You know, normally in most against most bosses, you can climb the walls. Now I'm getting tired of this, so I'm just going to let him hit me. I'm not going to make any attempt to get out of the way. Just let him punch me. Come on, let's get this on. Let's get this over with. And he'll capture me again. But that'll trigger the story sequence. And out comes Zero. Maybe, but I'm not through yet. And so he's going to channel or do whatever and blow himself up. And now I can actually get on to the boss battle here, which is against Vile when he's outside of his uh, armored suit. What a worthless gesture. I can't be defeated so easily. So X, it's just you and me now. 
I rotate through all the weapons for fun. What the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, because you're so far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. Uh, he's actually not weak in particular against uh, the missiles I'm using here. I mean, it does decent damage, but there's actually another weapon that does more damage. I can't remember which one it is, though, off the top of my head. But this one will track him wherever he goes, so I'm just going to use that here. Unfortunately, he uh, actually hit me a couple of times here, so this wasn't my greatest battle. But, uh, you know, sh shoot him up, a couple missiles, he's going to be uh, terminated pretty quickly. And then here, I'm rotating through all the special weapons, just so Mega Man will uh, flicker different colors, like he's some sort of a uh, rainbow warrior. X, I've taken too much damage. Auto repair systems can't handle it. My power is fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. And that's it for Zero. But of course, we'll see him in future Mega Man X games. Um, to be perfectly honest, I think we see too much of him in future Mega Man X games. But whatever. Some people seem to like him as a character. Alright, more lasers. More guys with uh, ball and chains. That guy was not very accurate in his throw. And so we'll finish him off. Here we have another... Oh, by the way, yeah, you, you, you think that was the end of the stage? Nope, we still got further to go. This is actually a pretty tough opening stage for uh, Sigma's Fortress. I think this is more difficult than the ones that came come after it. So now we've got our vertical sequence here. And how am I going to get past the enemies? I'm going to charge up and use Sting Chameleon's weapon, which lets you run through enemies. I actually think this is the best special weapon in the entire game. So when you have areas that are just chock full of enemies, you can turn it on and just run right through. And I've found that it's just easier to do that there than try to fight your way through. So a little cheap, I know, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. And now uh, here's Boomer Quanger again. So just like in the NES Mega Man games where you had to fight all of the bosses a second time, you had to do that again in this game. But instead of them being in like one room, it's like the original Mega Man, if anyone played that, where you would fight them sort of in the course of the levels. When I fight them the second time, I'll use whatever weapon they're weak to, so that I can demonstrate that in this video as well. And that's it for Boomer Quanger. He sure didn't last too long when I used the launch octopus missiles. They just uh, heat seek and kill him pretty quickly. So, onward! Oh, you thought that was the end of the level? Nope, we still got another boss. Uh, quite a lot of bosses in this game. And this area is chock full of all the little helmet guys. Sometimes I'll turn on the Sting Chameleon weapon and just run through this area, but I actually wanted a chance to get some power back. And now that I'm full on power, I'll dash through the last couple guys and go through. So, alright, onto the boss for this level, the first level in Sigma's Fortress. And the boss for this level is... wait and see... A big spider. Yeah! Were you expecting that? So, big spider boss. You'll notice that he's on these... Well, first he always throw, likes to throw off the little spiders, and of course you want to dodge them. The other thing that you'll notice is he's on a track, and he can only move in the direction that that track shows. So, like, right there. Uh, anytime he gets to an intersection, he can move right or left. Well, actually, I think he goes all the way to the end and then shifts directions. But, like, right here, if you watch his pattern, I could see right there that once he went to the right, he wouldn't go to the right again. So, you kind of have to watch and react quickly and dodge out of the way. Uh, it just takes some practice to see. Like right here, he'll never hit me on the left side because, you know, you can see the little track doesn't go over there. So dodge the dodge the little spiders that come out, try to predict his movement, and shoot him when he comes down to the bottom. And uh, that's it. Not the hardest boss. Like right here, he's not going to go all the way to the right, so I know I'm safe there. This one, I really don't know, but I uh, kind of guessed, and it turned out he went to the other side. Here again, it's like, uh, I don't know. But when he, when he went right first and then started to come left, I could kind of see which way he was going to go. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if there's any weapon this boss is particularly weak to. I always just use the you know the regular X-Buster, and I never had any real trouble with this guy. So uh, that's what we use here. And you can see, just one more shot, and we've got him. He's going to go on the left, so that means we go right, and that's it. He's dead. Same exploding uh, special effect. That was the first level of Sigma's Fortress. There are still a couple more to go. So thanks for watching, and thanks for listening. We will pick back up here again. Uh, in part 5 of Let's Play Mega Man X. So thanks for watching.